there there is a growing interest in terms of uh, renewable energy investment. The idea is basically uh, people believe that if you have more renewable energy, then this will reduce the carbon emissions. Okay, so the intuition is definitely correct. Um, so if you think about recently, the uh, government has various policies. So one kind of one particular policy is called peak pricing policy. So peak pricing policy, the uh, the idea is try to uh, charge a higher price for uh, daytime demand usage, because normally in a day the daytime has a higher demand. So the idea here is that if you charge a higher price on the daytime, then uh, if you think about the household user, right, if they have a smart meter, then the household may install the solar panels to generate the extra cap uh, electricity. So this extra electricity can, can be sold back to the grid to generate the revenue for the household users. So this is the kind of the basic logic with the peak pricing. Um, this may uh, motivate uh, a more investments in terms of the uh, household, for example, household residential renewable uh, energy, like uh, solar panels and all that. So this is one reason. The second reason why government likes to consider this peak pricing policy is because if you charge a higher price on the daytime demand, then some of the daytime demand will be squeezed to the nighttime. So the overall demand pattern is going to be smoother. So logically, this will be easier to match demand with the supply. If you think about more carefully, you think you know the issue is not that straightforward. So there are three reasons for that. What, uh, the first reason is that right now in the United States, the majority energy investment is actually done by utility firms, not the household users. Okay, so this is one factors uh, complication factor. The second complication factor is that if you are thinking about renewable energy. Um, they are different kinds. For example, you have solar, you have wind. Those renewable energy sources may not have the same generation patterns. And the third complication is about intermittency. So you may think that it's easier to match demand with supply. That's true. But if you're thinking about the renewable energy supply is intermittent, then sometimes it may not generate enough energy to satisfy the demand. So if you consider all three complications together, then the key issues here is that whether, what is the impact of peak pricing on the uh, renewable energy investment and the resulting carbon emission? Um, the answer is not that straightforward. So that's kind of the basic motivations that we want to build a model to uh, study this issue in a, in a more rigorous way. So the main result of the paper uh, is that uh, it turns out that we find something very interesting. It turns out that we found that flat pricing, uh, what do I mean by flat pricing? Basically, you charge the same rate throughout the day, right? So it, it turns out that flat pricing turns out to be a, a, a better policy if we want to motivate more solar energy. So the logic is actually kind of intuitive. If you, if the government using the flat pricing, so the demand, the daytime demand remains to be high. And you know the solar energy is pretty much generated during the daytime. So that is the main reason why solar energy uh, will be promoted if the government using flat pricing policy. So that's one interesting uh, results that we found through our paper. And the second key insights that we, can, we found that is that uh, why most people think that high renewable energy will reduce the carbon emission. However, our uh, paper, our model suggests that in some situations, this may not be the case. So if you're thinking about the competing technology, if you are the re utility firm company, right? If you want to invest, you have two competing technology, renewable and traditional. And nowadays, the new traditional energy source tends to be very clean, okay? Although it may not be as clean as renewable energy, but it tends to be clean. 
Now, if you're thinking about it, if you invest too much on the en uh, solar energy, then this might reduce the investment level of new, new conventional energy source. So in that sense, with the intermittency issue, if the demand is higher than the supply, then the utility firm has to generate the electricity from the original, traditional, like very dirty source, right? Like the coal uh, power plants. And overall, this is going to increase the uh, carbon emissions. So this is the interesting finding that, that, uh, that, that we can see from our paper. So in summary, I think our work uh, suggests the following. Uh, when we're thinking about pricing policy, and it has to be very careful. Okay? The government should consider uh, who are the generators. So we see that it's quite different. If you are thinking about the issue from the utility firm's perspective or the household user's perspective, they are all very different. And the second thing is that we, we try to, uh, uh, we want to convey a key message. When you are thinking about pricing policy, it's very important to, to, to know that uh, we, even with the same pricing policy, this is going to lead to different effects if you are considered different type of renewable energy sources, wind, solar. This may lead to all different outcomes. So this is something that uh, we, uh, we can see through our paper.